Welcome back to the channel and uh, I'll start this one off with uh, the power that I'm using in the van because I'm having a few questions on uh, how I'm managing with no fixed solar on the roof so and to be honest I'm managing really really well and uh, like I say there's no there's no solar on the roof whatsoever so I'll show you what I've got this is my uh, battery box see it's a 115 amp hour leisure battery that's the one I got there and then it's connected to this it's the Orion TR Smart it's a DC to DC charger and then everything's connected there to the fuse box And yeah, basically, that is my entire system. And that's all I've got. So, bar from one little other unit that I do use quite a lot. And uh, I'll go through that in a minute. But yeah, it's just a basic, simple uh, leisure battery, DC to DC uh, uh, charger. It's the Victron energy orion so and it's it's working out really good so that's my fuse box that so everything's connected to the fuse box everything in here is just 12 volt i got no inverter built in so yeah everything is 12 volt and basically my ledger battery runs my diesel heater and the uh, lights for the ceiling I'll just put them on now and show you two there two there and two at the back I do have these uh, USB charging ports there's four there in total so that seems to do everything that I want to charge anyway I do have this little uh, energizer 240 watt and that charges like my, my vape and my phones at night and to be honest, even with just them two items, I'd be managing really, really well. I've never had a... Oh, I tell a lie. I did have a my battery had drained, not to the point where it was zero, because you can't. But I left my diesel heater on. I thought I turned it off and I pressed plus one. So it went up a power and I went straight to sleep. And yeah... It was showing on the thermostat on the diesel heater that it was uh, low voltage. <laughs> but started the engine and uh, everything came back to life. So that was the only time I've ever done anything like that. And uh, yeah, that was when I was first in the van. So it's got to be at least nine months ago. It was during when they're coming up to winter. So, and that was the only time. Uh, everything else in here, I could go... Uh, battery lights here uh, for night and these are rechargeable batteries in them and all them batteries uh, they're 2800 mAh batteries from EBL they kindly sent me this to uh, review and uh, it's been a godsend to be honest because I've always bought Duracell batteries comes with a USB charger and we all know how dear Duracell batteries are. They are about the best batteries you can buy for the for lifespan. But I was having to buy the pack of 10 because I've got other devices here that are batteries like my uh, air freshener sprays. And uh, yeah, it's nearly £10 a time. So yeah, so I've done away with all the Duracell batteries now. I'm using this from EBL. And uh, yeah, they kindly contacted me to see if I wanted to try it, and I eventually agreed to do it. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Whenever them batteries run out now, just stick them in that, and it takes about 40 minutes from, from nothing to fully charged again. And it's just a case of flipping that up, plugging that into there. And uh, they just fit in. 
you get the two red lights these are fully charged though so it won't take it probably register in about less than a minute they'll go green so it's red when they're charging and then they go green when everything's fully charged but yeah look how tiny that is and it doesn't draw hardly anything from the batteries it is really low charging so because it's all usb 12 volt so yeah big shout out to ebl for sending it to me absolutely amazing thank you so much saved me quite a bit <laughs> already because i run out of batteries and uh, yeah that came at the right time so i just charged them stuck everything in so bloody brilliant thank you so much now when I say I got no fixed solar on the roof, I mean I've got no fixed solar. I got no uh, no means of solar anywhere on the roof. But let's move this bag. I got a bag of washing here. <laughs> but I do have this. And it's from all powers. It's the 200 watt solar panel that you can fix. I've put hooks. I don't know if I can get it, but I put these hooks on so I can hook it to the the rail of the van and hang it up if I need be. But that's fully charged now. It's been out. It's, well, it's been in the van. I run the cables through the window. But yeah, this is fully charged now. I will do another review on this one because it's the S2000 Pro. So yeah that has been a game changer and everything works on it so I couldn't charge the R1500s yeah nothing would work whatsoever the cigarette light to charge or the solar charge so once they drain to zero that was it buggered but that's how I'm running my van so it's probably the most basic and simplest way to do it but it works works for me anyway I've never had a problem I've charged all my devices, my phones, cameras, everything. Charging batteries now. And uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. So that's how I run my van. So if it's any help to you, it'll be, uh, it's an easy way and it's the, probably the cheapest way. I am thinking of another leisure battery, but then I will get another DC to DC charger. So instead of having 30 amps, you'll have 60 amps and it'll charge a hell of a lot quicker. But even doing that is a lot cheaper than the solar panels and all the everything that comes with the solar that you've got to fit. So I will go that way. I, I, I don't think I'll have solar on the roof. I don't need it. So everything's working great. Everything's working as it should. Bloody awesome. Like I say, that's my battery box and all my fuse boxes and everything. And uh, the all power just sits on top. It doesn't move. It's that heavy. It doesn't move. So I've got the cigarette lighter plugged in there. That's permanently in all the time. So when I'm driving, it just gets trickle charged. But when it's fully charged, it turns off. It doesn't take any power at all. So that's the uh, plug for my radio. And this one's for my interior lights, my uh, 12 volt strip lights. And uh, these lights here are my strip lights. These are the ones I was on about. The cable goes up there and then they rejoin up here and go the full length of the van. They work out really well. Really like the van up well at night. And it's not a white white. It's like an ambience white. It's it's it's, it's nice. Uh, got them from B&M's. Yeah, B&M's in a pack of four strip lights. You can either use the cables and leave a gap in between, so you're using the cable, or they just join straight onto each other. I've joined them straight on by this because I wanted to go on the ceiling. But yeah, absolutely brilliant. I can't remember the price. I think they were around about 20, 20 quid, I think, somewhere out there. But they come plugged, and I use my all powers then as like an inverter, so I plug everything in. The air fryer is under here that I use. I don't know if you can make that out, but that's my air fryer. That also gets plugged into the all powers. <laughs> but yeah, you can make it as dear or as cheap as you want and still survive with full electric. So 
brilliant. And just to put out there as well, when I do the um, review for the All Powers uh, S2000 Pro, it'll be like a bonus video. So it won't interfere with my Tuesday, Thursday or Sunday videos. I'll put it out on like a Monday, Wednesday or a Friday. So, yeah. So if you don't want to watch it, then don't watch it. Because uh, some people are not moaning, but they're, they're not too keen on uh, reviews during the video. So... I do apologize but I do have to get paid as well I have to get some money from somewhere so that will be like a bonus video so it will either be on a Monday Wednesday or a Friday just thought I'd uh, let you know oh you got me a storm <laughs> oh, there we are. I'm here with Martin and Deborah oh, oh, I oh, oh, oh I've it's got one of you no it's Debs it's Debs <laughs> definitely not the eye Good morning, woke up on the ledge again this morning, I didn't film it because say I was there in the last clip, <laughs> but uh, I just called an Aldi's now and um, home bargains, got some supplies in, I'm on my way now to pick and eat it up and we're going to go up towards Bolton Way, a place called Ribbling, uh, Rivington, it's by Go Ape, so yeah we're going to head up there for the weekend. So, yeah, come pick it up and uh, make our way up. I just had a butty I have, so, yeah. So I'll catch you a bit further down the road then. Stuck in traffic, I am in Tlangothlin. Not even nightmares, this is all the way to the lights, this is. Yeah. Everybody goes, oh, summer, summer's here. Yeah, so is the bloody traffic. <laughs> oh, it's a fire engine, blue lights. Don't know if you can make this out. Yeah. Don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, he stopped all the traffic to come through. I'll catch you a bit further down. But good morning! <laughs> good, good morning. Parked in Rivington, we have, and uh, yeah, made a coffee and just seen a first baby deer. Bloody awesome! <laughs> Good job, she's on a lead. We've had steak tonight. <laughs> Joking. Having that for tea, it's butter chicken with peel of rice, two of them, and that bad boy there. And there's two because there's two. <laughs> well, two and a bit with the dog, but she ain't having it. Right, we're going to have this and we'll see you in a bit. We're in Rivington as well, so yeah, pretty cool. Just hope it doesn't rain. Bloke in the, car in the van there said it's going to rain, so <laughs> probably not. And yeah, we just had a shower. Top end of Manchester, don't it? So yeah, it always rains in Manchester for some reason. <laughs> Worked here that many years, yeah. Bloody rain. But it, it's easy now, the sky's coming a bit lighter over there, so yeah, it's going to be a good evening. Tea was lovely, oh my god. Butter chicken, bloody lovely it was. She's laughing at me. So yeah, just having uh, the odd cider. <laughs> Don't think you're getting away with it, fagash lil. <laughs> but yeah, you can see over there it's brightening up. It went really dark here earlier, so yeah, bloody rain. She's hiding now. 
<laughs> but yeah, as it was nice to be shaded from the rain under the trees, it might uh, be a downfall tonight if it rains, because you're going to have the big drops in the van as well as the rain, aren't you? So that's a nightmare. You won't hear it. I won't hear nothing. <laughs> bloody hell, did she speak then? Did she you won't bloody hear it? <laughs> yeah, I won't hear nothing. Didn't even hear the thunderstorm the other night. Walk and eat it up. I was on the ledge, in the van. Never heard a thing. <laughs> right, I'm gonna knuckle down now. Put some vampire diaries on as you do in the woods. Yeah. Oh my god. So yeah. Probably see you later in the morning. We'll have a walk around here, show you the reservoir and stuff. So, take care. Good morning. <laughs> Selling uh, Rivington, and uh, yeah, sun's out, but it's quite chilly. So, oh, she's having a food. Thinking of putting jeans on. So, yeah, it's bloody freezing. <laughs> Yeah, when you stood here, it's bloody warm. In the shade, it's bloody freezing. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for a walk in a bit down uh, down the road there. See what's there. And uh, yeah, silver van there. That's Mike, one of my subscribers. Been chatting with him this morning. Yeah, bloody awesome. The squirrels have been chucking. Uh, what are they? Uh, not air cons, are they? they yeah. Nut yeah, they're just like nut type things. They've been chucking them all over our vans this morning. Yeah, I'll show you that. That type. Van roof's probably covered in them. <laughs> yeah, up there you got the mansion, and then down there. You got Go Ape, so we're going to have an explore in a bit, see what's about. Got Sage crying because I'm what, four metres away. Oh, but it's a beautiful day! <laughs> what are you saying? Can't find the shades. Can't find your shades? No. I know. Oh, no. I'll have to put mine on. Oh, on a bit of a walk now. And I say a bit. <laughs> Just going down towards Goape. See what's there, go and see the reservoir. Yeah. Walking the hot cross buns on. Follow me! <laughs> <laughs> Morning Craig! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Until we're not going. Look. I can't. 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 I don't know how to stop this. Bloody hell! I did get there, but I don't know how to stop this. You ripped my knickin' hats off! <laughs> Bloody hell, that hurt! Just enjoying a nice little walk. Sage has just been playing with a, a pointer, I think it was, wasn't it? I think so. I think it was a pointer, a brown, big brown thing. Bill. Named Bill. <laughs> Oh, sun's coming out, but it's. I'm warm now because I've been walking, but yeah, in the shade it's bloody chilly. I'll try and catch you some uh, the kids going through on the zip wires in a minute. They're more at the top end. Oh, but it bloody lovely here in Manchester. <laughs> Don't slip me in the comments. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. No. Cockney doing Manchester accents? Yeah. 
<laughs> Dens that kids build are bloody awesome. Gets them off their PlayStations, doesn't it? Go towards the cafe now, and because uh, you all know me, and Anit, always got time for a coffee. So yeah, we'll go and get a coffee. Support local businesses and stuff, innit? Yeah. Got that word out right, didn't I? Businesses. <laughs> oh. It's a lovely place here, I'll give it that. I'd even go to Super Smashing, bloody great, you know. Bloody great. Bloody great. Right, see you at the cafe. Oh, it's warm, man. Huh? <laughs> Smells nice. It was not. It's out here, bloody freezing. <laughs> Clouds come in now, and uh, yeah, it's gone bloody cold here. Had a walk up from the cafe, it was alright, the cafe, it wasn't too bad. But, uh, just sat by the van now for a, for a little bit. We're going for a walk after over there, but see if we can see any uh, other wild deer. That'd be nice. But yeah, let these bikes go fast. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. <laughs> well, this is a laugh, isn't it? I know I'm in the road, but. Car coming, I've got to move. Right, we're just sat here chilling in the sun. Squiddle watching. All them little bangs that have been happening on my roof, the squiddles are above the trees dropping the, the shells. Little shits. <laughs> so I'm going to end this one here, guys, and uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you've got this far and you're not subscribed, consider pressing subscribe, it'd be brilliant. So for now, be good, be safe, and as always, bloody enjoy yourselves. So until the next one, guys, be good. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye for now. Bye! <laughs>